Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about how to enable all the new hidden features inside Windows 11 build 23506, which is the latest build from the dev channel. There are a few improvements and hidden features in this build, and those are related to the start menu and the settings app, and also the OB section of the Windows installation process. More info about that, of course, in this video. And from the beginning, a huge shout out to Phantom Ocean 3 for discovering these hidden features inside this build of Windows 11. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all as always we're gonna have to set up vive tool on our computer just go ahead and get vive tool from the link in the article below in the video description and make sure you download the latest version .zip. after that you can open it up using file explorer click on extract all click on browse and make sure you extract it into the system 32 location this pc local disk c windows and then scroll down to system 32 select it select folder extract. In my case, I'm going to have to replace the files, click on continue, and this is how easily you set up Vive tool on your computer. Now, after you set up Vive tool, you're going to have to open up the CMD as administrator. So just open up the start menu or the search box up in here, CMD, and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. As I've said, all the commands and IDs that I'm going to show you in this video are discovered by Phantom Ocean 3. So you're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below. Make sure to follow him if you want to learn more about hidden features earlier than others. So first of all, we're going to enable a feature that will basically enable some improvements regarding the recommended section. To be more exact, we're going to have a details pop up about a file when hovering over it in the recommended section of start menu. And to enable this, you're going to have to use the following command vive tool slash enable slash id 442-707-38. Press enter and you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. Of course, all the commands that I'm going to use in this video will be in the article below in the video's description. Now, the next command that we're going to use is not really a command that you're likely to use, but it's good to know it because because this is related to the after installation or post OB experience inside Windows 11, the latest dev channel build. So basically, now when you're installing Windows 11, you're going to be able to select what's your purpose for the Windows installation. For example, if you select development, after the installation, the dev home app will be automatically opened. And if you manage to set up Vive tool before OB and enable this, you can simply use the command Vive tool slash enable slash ID 431-809-50 slash variant iPhone. And, and here you can use 0 or 1. 0 will basically enable the dev home launch after installation and 1 will enable the new get started app launch after installation. So these are some new things that are mentioned in the release notes for this build and if you want to learn more about this of course watch the video until the end or watch the build presentation that I've made a few days ago. As an example we're just going to use variant 1 but I'm for sure not going to be able to show this in action because I don't have a new Windows installation right now but of course you're going to see some screenshots of how this would look and how would this work. Again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. The next command is vive tool slash enable slash id 437 This command will basically enable the updated phone link setting app inside Bluetooth and devices and settings. So again, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration. And lastly, we're going to enable the new energy and battery usage section inside settings with the command vive tool slash enable slash id 4466 comma 4466 06. And as you can see, this command has two IDs, press enter. And this is the last command from this video. Of course, after you run all the commands, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration and you should be good to go. Just exit out from the CMD and restart your computer for the changes to take effect. And now after the restart, let's see all the new features that we've enabled. First of all, we can open the start menu. And as I've told you, we've enabled a new section that appears when you hover over a file in the recommended section of the start menu. And as you can see, you're going to have there when it was added seven minutes ago, a quick icon or the name and the location of it. I think this is pretty interesting. In my opinion, there's a lot of empty space here, but of course this is an early preview. So I think Microsoft is currently working on improving this hover over menu or section. And in my opinion, it could be very useful because you get recommended files here in the start menu and maybe sometimes you don't know what they are, where is their location and so on. So I think this is pretty useful. As I've told you, the post OB or post installation experience, if you enable those IDs before the OB experience inside the installation process of Windows 11, build 23506 or Windows 11 23H2 because I think that experience will be available there. We're going to see a preview from Phantom Ocean 3 of how this works and basically if you select development the dev home app will be automatically opened after installation. For the third feature if we open up the settings app and then go to Bluetooth and devices then phone link we're going to notice this updated phone link section where we can now turn this slider on to open phone link of course instantly access your mobile device from your PC and if we turn this on we can open phone link to 
to answer calls or texts, view photos and more. As you can see, phone link is opening up in the background and we can click on open phone link and it'll be opened on our system. This is a small change, but of course it's good when Microsoft is improving certain things in Windows. And the last feature that we've enabled is inside system and then scroll down to power and battery and then scroll down to energy and battery usage. This is a new section that basically replaces the battery usage section in Windows 11. And here we're going to have a drop down where you can select energy usage or battery level. And for both of these, you can switch from last 24 hours to last seven days. You can see info about certain sections. Of course, this is still not working as it should because you can see there is also some placeholder text that doesn't do anything or doesn't show any information. But of course, Microsoft is improving this. And below, you're going to have battery usage per app or energy usage per app, depending on what you are choosing. And as you can see, the settings app is actually using the most energy inside the system. To get the best results and have this feature with a lot of information, it's good to have a laptop with a battery, of course, but it's also working on computers, but with limited information. So these are pretty much all the hidden features that we've been able today. Don't forget to get Vive tool from the article below in the video's description. And also all the commands that I've used in this video will be in the article below. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.